The Flash is the fastest man alive in comics. In real life, Usain Bolt is, but even he can't top 27 miles per hour. I want to move faster than that. I want the power of super speed. Unfortunately, that's just something in comic books and television. Or is it? I'm Rusty Ward, and I'm determined to find out how science and technology can enable me to become superhuman. The Flash is one of my all-time favorite superheroes, and I'm constantly imagining what my life would be like if I could exceed my human limitations and move at super speeds. From the comments and requests for superpowers I've gotten, I know I'm not alone. Disappointingly, my speeds aren't quite at Barry Allen levels or Quicksilver. Let's face it, I'd be lucky if I could keep up with the turtle. But I take solace in the fact that the human race as a whole is pretty slow when compared to the rest of the animal kingdom. So why is the running speed of humans so much slower than that of other animals? Well, we're bipedal, so cheetahs and horses obviously have us at a disadvantage. But even among bipedal animals, we're still pretty slow. That's because these things aren't designed well for running. They were originally made to climb trees, and only in the past five million years have they adapted to walking upright. Other animals have been evolving into bipedal organisms for hundreds of millions of years. That's why when roboticists in South Korea wanted to build a fast bipedal robot, they didn't base their designs on a human's legs, but on the legs of a velociraptor. This robot can run 100 meters in 7.8 seconds, almost two seconds faster than Usain Bolt. That means that human mechanical design has already surpassed human biological design, and we've only just begun. Prosthetic designs like the ones that Paralympians use have already moved away from strictly imitating human legs. Today, scientists and engineers are trying to imitate ostrich legs. Ostriches exert the same amount of force humans do when they run, but they can reach speeds of 40 miles per hour and use up half as much energy. This is because of rubber band-like tendons that use the energy exerted when their foot hits the ground to propel their foot forward on the next step. But maybe you like your legs the way they are and aren't ready to go full cyborg. In that case, you might want to dabble in a little genetic manipulation. Scientists have suppressed a gene in mice called NCOR1. This gene inhibits muscle growth. And when it's turned off, the mice grew muscle that was more massive, denser, and had greater numbers of mitochondria. The altered mice were able to run twice as fast and twice as long as ordinary mice. If tinkering with your DNA is still a little too extreme, then I recommend this, the 4MM Jetpack, created by an engineer at Arizona State University. 4MM stands for four minute mile. It's a jetpack that pushes you forward instead of up, with the intention of enabling anyone to run a four minute mile. So for achieving top speeds, I recommend a dual bionic replacement of both lower limbs, a complete overhaul of your current genetic code, and an exoskeleton with jet-based aft thrusters. Or you can continue to fantasize about having super speed like me, psh, psh, while trying to uncover the secrets behind your other favorite superpowers. A great way to get lost in superpowered fantasy is with Ernest Cline's novel Ready Player One, about a teenager that escapes into a VR world where the best gamers become the most powerful warriors and the most popular celebrities. That's the Audible.com book that I'm currently listening to. Audible is the sponsor of this episode and they have thousands of awesome books ready to be downloaded. You can go to audible.com slash rusty and download the first one totally free. If you like this series and want to lend some support, go to audible.com slash rusty and grab a book. And if you're a gamer like me, you'll love Matt Pat's channel Game Theory, which is a lot like science friction, but instead of diving into the reality behind comic books, he digs into video games. We worked on his latest episode together and it was a lot of fun. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more episodes. Check out some of my previous ones like my series on real immortality and be sure to let me know what superpower you want.